Hi, before I present the main argument of this video, I want to first encourage you guys to go to the comments section of any of my uploads. For example, in this video titled, I saw God sitting on his throne, and this is what he showed me. If you simply scroll down to the comment section, you'll see that I posted a very long comment with a bunch of evidence in favor of Christianity. So I encourage you guys, if you're a skeptic, if you're not a Christian, I encourage you guys to read this evidence that I present and examine it. Also, if you are a Christian, I also encourage you to read this evidence, examine it, and please spread this evidence. If you're going to copy paste this and give it to someone, if you're going to print it out and give it to someone, or if you're going to email this to someone, if you're going to post it on social media, do with it as you please. Now, getting to the main argument of my video, we have to go to the Gospel of Luke, to chapter 10, verse 18. To see if Jesus Christ gave us a clue as to what the Antichrist's name would be. But remember, there have been many Antichrists, but the Antichrist I'm talking about is the, the Antichrist that's going to reign during the tribulation. So Luke chapter 10, verse 18 says, And he and he said unto them, and now this is Jesus talking, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. This verse is very significant because when we look at the Hebrew or the Hebrew pronunciation or the Hebrew definition of the words lightning and heaven combined with Satan, we get something very significant. To start off, the Hebrew word for lightning is barak. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it means lightning. Just like in the verse, lightning fall from heaven and that's the hebrew spelling of the word and the hebrew word for a high place or heights which is which is not i get it it's not it's not the word heaven but it's very similar so bama that's the name that's the hebrew word bama a high place which is very similar to what jesus said here lightning fall from heaven so when we put these two together we get barak and bama and that sounds a lot like the name of our current president, who is Barack Obama. Additionally, the word from, from my research, what I found was that the word from in Hebrew, like you can just use like a conjugate of an O to say like from somewhere. So it says lightning from the heights. You can say that in Hebrew by Barack Obama. Like the this O acts like the word from. And this is very significant as to what the Antichrist name is because Jesus said he saw Satan. Remember, the Antichrist is going to be the devil incarnate. Just like how Jesus Christ was God incarnate or God, God in the flesh, the Antichrist is going to be the Satan incarnate. So if we examine this closely, we see we see thing um, when Jesus said, the okay, let me just read this quick. The translation of Luke 10, 18 back into English using heights would be, I saw Satan fall as Barack Obama. I mean, if you don't think this is a clue, then, dude, I don't know. I, I truly believe that Jesus Christ gave us the Antichrist name in the Gospel of Luke 10, 18. So when the end times do come, that we won't be deceived. So... So Satan fell as Barack Obama. The Barack Obama would be in Hebrew, lightning from the heights or lightning from heaven. So that's, I mean, this is simply mind-blowing. I mean, just wow. I, I truly believe that Jesus Christ told us this exactly in Luke 10, 18 so that we won't be deceived. But even if this verse, even if this verse was not in the Bible, we would still know that Barack Obama, I believe, who is the future Antichrist, we would still know that he is the Antichrist based on like all the revelation that brothers and sisters in Christ have received from God. So if you simply go on YouTube and you type in dream of Obama, the Antichrist or vision of Ob Obama, the Antichrist, you'll see that lots of brothers and sisters in Christ have received confirmation that Obama is the Antichrist. So even if this, even if this verse was not in the Bible, I believe that God still gave us so much confirmation so that when the end times do come that we won't be deceived. So again, in Isaiah 14, 14, I will rise over the heights of clouds 
I will be likened to the Most High. Again, we see that word heights or Bama, and this ties all this ties back into into Luke ten eighteen with lightning from the heights. Or I saw Satan fall like Barack Obama, and this is very significant. I mean, this is a big clue as to who the Antichrist is, and I believe it's this man, the current president of the United States, Barack Obama. Additionally, this is what I want to share with you guys. Also. In the description box of all my uploads, I have a long list of evidence, I mean, a long comment about the end times. I also, to all the Christians out there, I also want you guys to spread this comment because I truly believe that we are getting closer and closer and closer to the end times and I, I, I don't want like people to be deceived. So spread this comment and we know we are getting closer to the end times because Bible prophecy has been fulfilled. For example, Israel has been restored as a nation. Homose There's an increase in the acceptance of homosexuality. People deny that God created the universe. And this is one of the many ways that we know the Bible is from God. Because the Bible has predicted the future time and time and time again. For example, this prophecy that um, this is going to be one of the signs of the end times. The Bible says that people will deny that God created the universe. And that he judged them through Noah's flood. Remember, this verse was written over 1800 years ago and to think that oh it's just a coincidence that it was written 1800 years ago and now the prophecy came to pass this is no coincidence remember the the top astrophysicists and the scientists are saying oh well well nobody created the universe it created itself and and the universe created itself from nothing i mean Remember, the Bible told us that people will deny that God created the universe and it's happening today as we speak. That's what people are saying. People are saying the universe created itself out of nothing. So this prophecy came to pass. So that's one of the signs that we know we're getting closer to the end times because prophecy has been fulfilled. And if Obama is truly the Antichrist, which I believe he is, I mean, they're, they're, we're, they're, we're, closer to, we're, we're closer than ever. So be not deceived. Um, I truly believe that Jesus told us the Antichrist name and it's this man, like I said, and the prophecy has been fulfilled. So please copy paste this comment, which can be found in the description box of my videos and post it anywhere as you please to warn people about the events that are soon going to come to pass. So thank you for listening. Um, I want to give God all the glory. I want to give God thanks and I also want to thank you guys for listening to this video and watching this video i appreciate i appreciate all the support and glory to god thank you